Shohei Otani is one of a kind. Wait, what? It's not hyperbole to say that there is no other player in the history of baseball that has done what Otani is doing. After his unanimous MVP season last year, Otani has been even better in 2022. As of today, Otani is hitting 276 with 34 home runs, a 149 OPS plus, and a 154 WRC plus. On the mound, Shohei has been dominant, posting a 235 ERA in 27 starts with an ERA plus of 170. That ERA plus is sixth in all of baseball, and Otani's 244 fielding independent pitching is third in baseball. On top of that, Otani is striking out hitters at a higher rate than any other starting pitcher. Shohei Shohei Otani has strong arguments for being the AL MVP. Otani is hitting at an all-star level and pitching at an elite level. It's difficult to imagine that any other player is more valuable or contributing more to a team than a player that is simultaneously acting as an elite ace and number three hitter. Otani has set many different two-way records. In this season, he became the first player to win 10 games and hit 30 home runs in one season. He has more than 200 strikeouts and 34 home runs. Just how unique are Otani's achievements? Babe Ruth is often cited as the last two-way player that compares to Otani. Nobody in the 100 plus years between Ruth and Otani comes close to the two-way production. Ruth's best two-way season, in which he had a war of at least two from both pitching and batting, was 1918. While Ruth's 1919 season was higher in terms of combined war, Ruth only made 15 starts in 1919 and finished the season with a .8 pitching B war. 1918 was a different time for baseball. The Red Sox only played 126 games in 1918, so Ruth didn't have the same opportunities for plate appearances. His 11 home runs don't seem like a lot, but Ruth led the league with that number. But 1918 was also different for pitching. While Ruth's 2.22 ERA is impressive, it ranked 14th in baseball. Ruth was an excellent pitcher, but his wins above replacement and ERA plus demonstrate that Ruth was not as far above the league average as Otani is this year. Ruth's 122 ERA plus suggests that he was 22% better than league average for pitching. As of today, Otani has an ERA plus of 170, a number that Ruth never reached as a pitcher in any season. The OPS plus and ERA plus figures are important because they account for external factors and allow us to compare players from different era more accurately, especially when the 1918 season was only 126 games. All things considered, Babe Ruth's 1918 season was excellent. He hit for a much higher OPS plus than Otani, but Otani was far more effective in terms of ERA plus. Overall, Otani edges out Ruth in total B-War. It's difficult to compare Ruth's shortened season, but the comparison of the two indicates that Shohei Otani's two-way production was slightly better. We hear it all the time, but Otani is truly unique. He has broken many different records relating to combined pitching and hitting figures, and he has remained healthy throughout the season. Everyone would agree that Otani is turning in an MVP caliber season. The only obstacle is Aaron Judge. Six. And the 3 2. Drill deep to left field. This could be it. See ya. He's done it who is posting one of the best offensive seasons of all time. Judge has a real shot to win a triple crown and will break the American League home run record any day now. Judge has been exceptional, period. He is breaking long-standing records and doing things rarely done, but Shohei Otani is distinct because he is doing things that have never been done. One argument frequently cited in favor of Judge is that he has been the best player on a winning team. The Yankees have clinched their division and will be the two seed in the American League, but can you really blame Otani for the Angels' failures? He has certainly done his part and shouldn't be held back from an individual award based on a poorly run organization. Another argument in favor of Judge is that his war is superior. Judge has an 11.1 F war to Otani's 9.3. Judge has a 10.5 B war to Otani's 9.8. But can war give Otani the credit he deserves? He's one of a kind. 
and War doesn't take into account how Otani provides his team with an extra roster spot. Benjamin Hoffman of the New York Times recently wrote that the argument to ignore that disparity in war comes in the form of the intrinsic but unaccounted for in war value of Otani serving as both an ace level starter and an all star level hitter, which gives the Angels a bonus roster spot to use how they see fit. Unfortunately for Otani, that has not helped his team be competitive, all but ending the argument. We disagree. Once again, Otani's value is unique, and Otani shouldn't be deprived from any benefit he provides to the team just because the Angels have been unable to build a winning team. Otani has performed his multiple roles in an unparalleled way. Who is the best hitter in the league this season? Aaron Judge. By far, he's putting up an offensive season for the ages. Who is the most valuable player in the American League? We think it's Shohei Otani. Not only is he the sole player in baseball who is making meaningful contributions from the plate and from the mound, but he is doing each job exceptionally well. Otani is among the best pitchers in baseball and has a 154 weighted runs created plus on top of that. Let us know who you would vote for, Shohei Otani or Aaron Judge. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to Baseball Pantheon.